But you've said so many beautiful things there, like this transition and this, um, you know, mixture of, you know, logical thinking, the business side and the spirituality and the manifestation. Um, what do you think is, uh, you know, because there's so many talks about a manifestation, what it is um, the thing that people struggle the most when it comes to, you know, manifesting like this life that they want? That's such a good, I love that question. The answer, I believe, is that people don't really know what they want. I like to talk about how if we were in the restaurant of the universe, so you and I, we go for dinner, we're sitting in the restaurant of the universe, I'm so hungry, the waiter comes over and they're like, Lauren, what would you like? And I go, just bring me anything because I'm really hungry. And they go, yeah, but don't you do you want like sweet, savory salad? Like, I don't even care what you bring me because I'm that hungry. I'll just eat anything. So the waiter goes to the back and talks to God or the creator, you know, you know, the source, the divine, whatever you want to say, insert whatever word. And then they're like, Lauren's here. She's hungry. Well, what does she want? Well, she doesn't really care. All right. Well, there's this old potato. Go give her this potato. So you come back. I get this old potato and I go, I didn't want a potato. I wanted like... I wanted a beautiful steak, steak dinner. I wanted it cooked medium rare. I wanted fried potatoes with a little bit of rosemary and garlic and a beautiful side salad and apple crumble for dessert. And I want a really nice glass of wine and the sparkling I water. And you know, like, couldn't you just read my mind? And so I think that's a big part about where we get caught up as manifestors is that we're not always sure what we want. 